Hey guys, Tail the Destructor Nader here, and welcome to the start of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. That's right, baby. I, uh, playing back on console. Got my Switch ready to go. We're gonna get going. We are gonna stick with the motion controls in this. Uh, check the options here. I don't have any amiibos. Stick with the motion control. I like a fast camera. And... Normal? Simple. Normal. We'll stick with normal. Alright, let's get started. Um... You know what? We're gonna stick with Link. Just because that's how it fits in with the story. Now, if you're not familiar with this story, or this particular entry, the story for this takes place before any other Zelda game. So this is basically the start of the entire legend. A wild Pokemon has appeared. God, they really did clean up the graphics on this. Holy shit, I noticed it right off the bat. Uh, sorry guys. Anyway, I do own this for Wii. The last time I played this, I streamed it on my personal Facebook for my friends. But, uh... Yeah, this is the... First time I'll be playing it all the way through on the Switch. God, it already looks amazing. Upscaled and everything? Holy shit. Sound even sounds a little improved. Oh. Alarm clock time. But, uh, yeah, last time I played this, I streamed out on my personal Facebook. Uh, I. The game's been out for 10 years, and I actually got it shortly after launch. And, oh my god, I loved it. A lot of people hate this game because of the motion controls, but... Um, I did start a file just to test the motion controls out, and yeah, it's, it's a, an improvement. Rise Link, the time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Link. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> it gets me every time. <laughs> God. That is one of the best parts right off the bat. Hey, sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Do they have clocks? Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. Oh, yeah, that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. You better not keep me waiting, Zelda. <sighs> One thing that I do remember for sure is they nailed Link's facial expressions in this game. Now, aside from what should be the improved motion controls and uh, graphics, other notable things, uh, the other game on the Wii was, didn't have full camera. 
controls, which I think this is amazing. How we had to control the camera back then? Which kind of makes it a little impractical. If I'm going this way, I have to turn the camera around and then, oh, I jerk off to the side. I do remember this. I think if we take one of these to the kitchen, we're supposed to get a little money. Here you go, lady. What's all this? I told, thought I told Fledge to carry that. Probably for the best, that skinny boy probably would have gotten flattened. Don't you have somewhere important to be? Yeah, yeah. That's right, this is Fledge. Thanks for the help. I know it's not much, but here's half the pay of what that old lady offered me. Oh, sweet. See, I thought you got money. Oh, that was the other thing. Uh... Okay, we can carry up to 300 rupees if I remember right in this particular Zelda. Say I open up a chest and I had rupees and my wallet's already full, he doesn't put the rupee back. No, it actually just goes to waste. I wonder if it still does it. Now, you can sit in this game to recover health. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar, this is the town of Skyloft. Now, if you notice, we are way above the clouds. And the actual story leading up to how civilization ended up on a floating island in the sky, um, there's a little cutscene that happens when the game first starts up. I will tack it on to the end of this video. So if you're interested, hang out uh, after the video to see how everything ended up here. Yo. Hey Link, good morning to you. Today's finally the long-awaited swing ceremony. Are you ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you. Target me and we can have a quick chat. Ooh. Excellent. Always remember you can talk, target someone to talk to them easily. Even when there isn't anything to target, it's a quick way to quickly face your view forward. Would you join me up here? They did cut out a little bit of text. So I think the beginning here is supposed to go a little bit quicker. I remember the beginning of this game actually does take quite a bit. Oh, it's so nice. I could just... without having to... Rushing to get last-minute bird riding practice this morning? Oh, you have to meet Zelda? Zelda? You have to meet someone? Ah, uh, Zelda's waiting for you. Perfect timing, then. You see Zelda's father, has a pet named Mia, and she scampered off again. Oh, yeah. The cat. I thought maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start, and I need to put on fresh clothes and well, you see. Will you help me out and go retrieve Mia? Yeah. Fantastic, you'll do it. I know you're in a hurry. I appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off the ledge there, you can climb onto the roof on the other side. Terribly sorry, I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. Oh my god, it's adorable! Dare me to throw it? <laughs> Damn it. I got yelled at. You brought her back safe and sound. I'm sorry for troubling you with this. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster we found his pet. He should be up at the statue of the goddess.
I believe Zelda's there with him. Oh, I should give you this as a reward. Oh, sweet! More money. There she be. See, they nailed it with his facial expressions. No, I'm not gonna sing to you guys. Okay, fine. Oh, you, no, I'm kidding. Good morning, Link. Glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet this morning. <laughs> Look at this instrument and at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess is said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it and he says it's called a harp. Look at these clothes. I made the wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first one to see me in this. So how do I look? Nice costume. Uh, I'll be nice. She's so into him. There you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. I think you're here, too. Outstanding. Dear God, it's the owl from Ocarina of Time in human form. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for, sh for sleep. <laughs> Jesus! Everyone's got to bust his balls, don't they? No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes even once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. What, you want me to wither too? About that. I don't know if he could do it. Recently, he hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. Even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming about me. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be perfect control of his bird today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Oh, so only guys ride birds? That's sexist. I'm just kidding, guys. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. Well, you've known him since we were both very little, and you should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his Loftwing are, sure, a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one of a, half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we were young, every one of us meets our loft wing under, great, under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Link and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing. The reed's so brer. Brer? Sorry, guys. It is a reed. Holy shit. It is a breed so rare, we were for sure that it had been vanished from the line. Yes. And the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Link met his loft wing for the first 
when they first met? What a sight. Oh my god, there's so much talking. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Wow. She thinks Link is into bestiality or something? So he's trying to sense his bird, and he knows something's not right. Oh. Ah, but who can blame you? You weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond they share. Anyone part of something that special... Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some nasty look sooner or later. <laughs> Contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. The ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Link messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? You just want to make sure he's with you during the ceremony. Jealous little brat. Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you're worried about Link. It's because she's got feelings. Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, squeeze a little practice in before the time of the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. Here we are now. Go on, jump off. Jump off the ledge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh, yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it, you're trying to weasel out of practice. Nice try, you're not fooling me. Off you go! Good job, you just killed Link. Sorry about that, guys. I totally skipped all that. My cat was bugging me. Hey, he told you he couldn't sense his bird. I wonder how much that hurts. Are you two alright? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain a wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of its master? It's unheard of. Hey, I'm a guy destined for strange and unfortunate things. You still can't sense your bird nearby? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go ahead and see if you could find where your bird has gone. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall, Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little while you find your bird. <laughs> but Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Quite true. As usual, you make a good point. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Link, run, tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Gotta go fast! Yo. 
What's wrong, Link? You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're gonna start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly for the in the ceremony? It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on a feather. I see, so the headmaster has summoned me? Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. Focus on finding your Laughlin. Kid, don't hurt yourself. I remember this guy. Oh, hey. Money. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain. What with all that scratching and pecking. <laughs> this asshole. Look at him. That's the total face of a douchebag. Of course it was. You thought that Crimson Loftwing was going to go down without a fight? But we got him. I don't care how tough that bird's supposed to be. He's still not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Whoa, Link, so, uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I could see it in those dopey eye of yours. They're pleading, oh, Groos, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Well, sorry, pal. Groose is a... Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Should have named him Biff. He reminds me of Biff Tannen. I couldn't imagine what would have happened to him. Do you think that tiny brain got confused in the clouds and lost? Give him back. Nice hair. Bring it on. Nice hair. Hey, lay off my do right now or I'll flatten you. <laughs> you know, we're all getting tired of you never letting anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging the Honored Academy through the mud. Oh. 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 <laughs> Link goes to move out of the way and she just shoves him. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? Typical teenage boy. <laughs> Forget it, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? <laughs> We're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird or get real used to the taste of fla failure. It's your flavor. Dick. Mm. 
I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to think those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to the instructor about delaying the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Now if you follow the path over to the floating island with the two waterfalls, you'll actually find this cave. It's blocked by trees. And Lincoln here is bird. But now we need a sword, so back to the academy. Practice sword. Students at the Knight Academy practice with these. Looks like a fairly sharp blade. Now the cool thing is, I'm pointing my sword all the way to the right. I've reset my motion control. So now if I point it forward, he's pointing it to the left. If I point to the left, reset it, put my arm back straight, there he goes. So resetting the motion controls doesn't just apply to aiming and looking around, it's anything you do. Hey Link, you can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out like that? What? Your loft wing is missing, you want to look for it. Well, I guess I can make an exception. But remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place, only knights carry swords. So I don't want you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want you to get in a ton of... I don't want to get in a ton of trouble for this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on the logs first. Once you get outside with that sword, only use it if you absolutely have to. Got it? Yep. I suppose I should... Make this instructor proud. Ready to try a simple spin attack? Sure. Sweet. Sure. Awesome. That actually handles a lot better than what it did on the Wii. Got bats. So my wife can attest to this. Yes, I got a green rupee. But um bats are kind of my kryptonite in Zelda games. For some reason anytime I die a weird or absolutely stupid death, it's because of a bat. Red rupee. Sweet. Sweet. Oh. Praying Mantis. Oh, I can't pick him up. Oh, that's right. I need the bug net. 
Get up here. Money. Definitely not leaving here broke. Hey. Link. I was hoping I'd find you here. I had heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly here and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign? Oh no. Well, not, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Gruce and his gang are, so, that are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who? Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Look, there he is! My poor bird. Yeah, I'm the only one with a red bird, so... Come on out, buddy. Let's go down, ho oh. I don't think the loft wings blink. Now that, you got, now that your loft wing is free, we should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I... I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone's calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place, or that there's even nothing at all. I have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world underneath there, far more vast than Skyloft. Thing is, no one's been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help but imagine a wild... I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see it for myself. <laughs> Sorry, Link, we don't have time for talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Leap off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Yeah, just don't shove me off the ledge, bitch. <laughs> Alright, so I'm holding my controller level, and I keep flying off to the side, and now I've just straightened it out. So yeah, hitting Y does really work with everything. I 
I think we're good. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your left wing looks like he's flying great. My father's probably worried about your bird, so let's go give him the good news. See, I told you guys at the beginning would drag on a little bit, but... Trying to get through it. Attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily that is no longer a concern. Glad you can make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will release into the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line, dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Yes, I remember how. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. As you know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will receive a gift from a young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. Now... The game's been out for 10 years, guys. They picked 25 because it was the 25th anniversary for Zelda, but following the storyline, it's the 25th anniversary of their institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion will also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role this year crafted the gift herself. And we all know the role is being performed by... The lovely Zelda. <laughs> let's see you. F let's see your finest flying out there. Show me how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see a good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other other riders will have to answer to me. Cool. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. Go! See you guys! Oh, I'm so close. Ah, oh, it was right there. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Let's see how you fly with egg on your face. Can you keep up with me, though? You got the snitch! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Link! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, Link. Congratulations. Oh, just kiss already. Now we better get on with the ceremony. <laughs> Link, hand me the bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess.
So fun fact, if you guys didn't know, when they made this soundtrack, they actually recorded it from an orchestra. Great Goddess, Guiding Light, and Protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk. Are we Ritu people? In accordance to the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Oh, she's taking her top off. Not that kind of top, you guys. <laughs> blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I will now pass to you. You got the sailcloth! Now you can jump from any height without any fear of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. Link, quick goofing. It's supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know that they say the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish this in time for today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Pretty sure that means more than one thing. <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised. Now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Link. You have to jump off the statue. Look down, see that big round design? I mean a circle? Yeah, we gotta jump to the center of it. And... yeah. If you were really fearless, you'd wait till the last second to use your sailcloth. So ready? Jump! That was perfect. You're amazing. <laughs> you know, Link Sing is how you won today. And with the weather being so nice. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? That's a date. <laughs> Link? Hey, Link! Today was amazing, watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> you know, Link, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Oh. What is that? A cock blocking whirlwind. What's going on? Later. Oh, I tried.
Link? I'm waiting for you. Time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. Chomp chomp! Oh, you're awake. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't have to appear. You don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? <laughs> Black tornado, you say? It looked brown to me. It was no ordinary storm. must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did she seem... did anything seem off? Well, she was hearing voices. Talked about the surface. Oh, I see. She was talking about the surface then. You've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her loft wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would be very dangerous. Rest now. Zelda's gonna be fine. She's there, out there alive. I know it. Take a pause in this destiny to get a blue rupee and close the cupboard. Oh shit! Oh, I thought that was gonna hurt for a moment. Oh! So the kitties? They get pretty mean at night. Bad putty. Reminds me of my cat. Relax. They can fly. You know what that reminds me of? There's a boss in Legend of Zelda. Uh, I think it's 
Oracle of Ages. Either it's the second boss or mini boss. I think it's the second mini boss. Skyward Sword. <laughs> when chosen by my creator, I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in the great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. Given? Given? I was created for a single purpose, long before recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling a great destiny that is burdened, that you're burdened to carry. Come, Link, you must take up the sword. As chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. No! The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it's only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. How do you know about that shit? To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share you some information. My projections indicate that this inf God, I hate the way she talks. Great helper, but I hate the way she talks. The one you seek. Honorable Zelda is still alive. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen chosen one fated to be part of the same mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. We'll move out of the fucking way. Does the information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? <laughs> it seems further persuasive measures are not required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. What if I want to point it down? You got the goddess sword. It's mysterious or er, this mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, master. Link, my master. Shiny. Link! I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would be one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few of each generation along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a sacred 
in the place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword I've kept secret all these years began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword, but there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of the legend would come to pass during my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth guided by the one of the blade. Wait. Guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes. Oral tradition. One of the least <laughs> reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of this passage have been lost over the generations. Enlighten us in not so many words. The youth that draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero. Is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of the apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Some of Father's old texts talk about the surface, yes. I remember, I remember. It's not like I stopped playing for a while. Master, you must embark on this great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit mating, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier. Living memory? No one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it with the altar behind me. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed with pure energy. Once charge your blade, once you've charged your blade, face the crest, swing of the sword. You also need to do this for things called goddess cubes. Goddess cubes unlock treasure chests up here in what I will call the overworld. World of Skyloft, but the overworld. And in them held many things. Extra... Well, we'll get to that. It's a pretty green. Master Link, it is done. Until now, the cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place on the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I will guide you. Press the button to summon me any time. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what Fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever the goddess has in store for her. 
You should heed the call of destiny. I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation. It is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends are true. You got it, man. You do your people proud, Link. Don is drawing near. It has been a long night for both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were going to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform that will prove much more suitable for your long journey. You'd better change before you go. <laughs> Looking snazzy. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, you s seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fi fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. More money? Nope. Link? Green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. You know, thanks to you. The headmaster said you're heading to look out for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine doing my... imagine myself doing what you're doing. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch! You got an adventure pouch, it's for... adventures. <laughs> Buy some potions and a shield, which I do plan on doing. You know what's cool? If you don't bother with this guy at all... He just looks so beat. And then his attitude when you tell him no th about buying stuff... Eh. I'll take one of these. Hey there. Yes, you. Adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. Oh dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion without an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason I like you though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. My little gift. I always carry some revitalizing potion on me. And it's because it works on your shield and it'll give you four hearts. So 
even if you're low on health and you don't necessarily need to repair your shield, you can drink the potion. Or if you need to repair your shield and you don't necessarily need the health, or you're only missing like one or two hearts, it'll fill you up, so... Works for me. Now before we actually head to that column of light, I need to make a quick pit stop. Oh hey, a bird with a rupee. I lost it. Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh well. There's a reason why we came to the pumpkin bar. I don't know if that's the actual name. Oh, the lumpy pumpkin. Now, we're gonna kinda be a dick here, but I want that piece of heart. <laughs> We're supposed to talk to him, but if you sit in front of him, it just pisses him off even more. Oh. What's wrong with you? You broke my fancy custom-ordered chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee. Got it? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? Yeah. <laughs> it's worth the piece of heart. But, you don't have to do it right now. I'm gonna say yep, but I don't have an empty bottle. Okay, I'll come back when I have an empty bottle. Probably. I wonder why it's always so dark on the land, though. Sunlight doesn't hit it. And we've made it to the surface. This is the fabled surface that took part in the Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned at a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Please proceed with caution, Master. Damn it. Damn Deku Babas. Mother.
Pam pam pam. Let's go check out the Black Hura. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim to the evil aura and release its unleash its power. You know the music almost sounds like uh when the blood moon's gonna happen on uh Breath of the Wild. This must be where they got it from. Sense a good change in the area that is triggered by your Skyward Strike. I also detect an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise the aura belongs to Zelda. You may track it through Dowsy. You don't need to explain it to me. So we can look around with this. Again, I had to push Y to reset the cursor, but it's whatever, you know. If I hold the up button, though, I can select it. Kind of like a hot and cold type thing. And we have made it to the sealed temple, guys, and this is actually where I'm going to call it quits. Let's go ahead and save it. And like I said, stay tuned because at the very end of this video, I am tacking on the story of how Skyloft came to be. Um, it starts up, or that plays as soon as you start up the game for the very first time. So I made sure to try to catch it for you guys, but I hope you're looking forward to this as much as I'm looking forward to it. I know the beginning really kind of dragged on, but believe it or not, that's a hell of a lot faster than what it was on the Wii. On the Wii, it's like an hour and a half to two. This time around, they cut it down to about an hour, so they did eliminate quite a bit of text. Um, from here, we're making our way to the first dungeon. Uh, that much I remember, so a little excitement there. Who knows, maybe we'll have time to do that and at least get to the second dungeon so uh next episode but guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're looking forward to more thank you so much for all the support it really does mean a lot you can follow me on facebook the link is in the description below and i will catch you guys in the next one